So we're going to do a short experiment here, trying to use AI to detect the turn of a conversation better in a speech-driven conversational AI setting. What I've got here is a simple little Streamlit app to, that we'll use to test this out before we put it in a Jambones application. And you can actually access it at jambones-prompt-classification.streamlit.app. And the first page just describes the motivation here, which is that talking to AI is still not a very good experience, mainly because uh, speech recognizers aren't that great at detecting a turn of a conversation when the conversation should really be turned over to the other person. And as a result, they're constantly interrupting us, feeding fragments of a sentence to AI, and generally at one point or another sort of derailing the conversation because it lacks this intelligence to detect these turns of the conversations, which are things that we as humans are, are really good at. So here I've got uh, a simple um, bot that I've created. The idea is that it's going to, I'll look at the prompt actually. So I'm telling the bot that it's monitoring conversations and I'm asking the bot to, given a statement that the agent just said, or which will be the voice bot, to make a prediction of what the type of response will be from the customer and then to classify it in terms of whether it's likely to be a single utterance, something very short, like a yes, no, a single sentence, a command, a query, selecting from a list of options that have been provided, something a little more expansive like multiple sentences, or a special case if it's going to involve some kind of identification data. The customer's been asked to spell their last name. The customer's been asked to provide a customer number, something like that. So I give it these prompts, and I give it a few shot examples. And then let's see how it works out. I've got to add my OpenAI key, which I can do, and then I can add a quick statement or a question. So for instance, um, good morning. Would you like to talk to sales or support? And it classifies that as a single sentence. So the response is likely to be a single sentence and it gives the reason why. Because we're giving a short number of options and acting um, to select one. Maybe the bot says, in your own words, please describe the problem you are having with our product. Okay, so pretty open-ended question. And, of course, it gets classified as multiple sentences. It's likely to be multiple sentence kind of response. A final example, maybe it says, could you please, could you please tell me your customer number so that I may retrieve your product history. And that would be, I think, identification data. The customer is going to speak a number. It's probably going to take some time to do that. So we want to classify these different responses in terms of how long we should give the customer to respond to them, how much likelihood there is there's going to be a pause versus a very short utterance and so forth. Now let's look at how it works in an application. To start with, we've got a very simple, uh, very simple bot. And I'm going to use DeepGram as the speech recognizer with no settings at all, just the default settings. And DeepGram's a very fast recognizer, so that's good and bad at times, as you'll see, because it really does need to be tuned. Uh, hold on one sec. Welcome to Charlestown Urgent Care. To get started, could you tell me if you are a current patient with us? Yes, I am. Thank you. In order to confirm your identity, could you spell your last name for me? Sure. It's H O. Thank you for confirming your identity. Oh, that wasn't good. I found your record. Our automated system will be able to help you with equipment issues or drug refills. Are you calling for either of those reasons? Yes, I am. Okay, we can definitely help you with that tonight. Can you tell me which you would like help with? An equipment issue or a drug refill? Equipment issue. I'm sorry to hear that you are having equipment problems. 
Can you tell me what the product is that you are using and describe for me the problem you are having? Yeah, it's a CPAP machine that I got from okay. you guys. Would you like me to dispatch a technician okay. to your home tonight? Okay, yes. Okay, I will dispatch a technician to your home tonight. Can you please tell me your home address so that I can instruct the technician where to meet you? Yeah, it's 70 Thank high... Thank you for your call. A technician will be dispatched to your home tonight. Goodbye. Okay, so that's an example where the conversation gets completely derailed because it's not listening long enough, obviously. Now you may say, hey, it's going to be it's easy to tune that. I just need to go in and make some tweaks and changes, different parts of it. And that's all true. But the reality is we don't have just one flow or one bot. We have hundreds of bots. Someone might be responsible for hundreds of bots. We've got thousands of bots out there. Also, we don't have just one speech recognizer. We've got dozens of speech recognizers, all with different things. And finally, the, the person that this would come down to tuning, if it was done manually, would be the conversational designer, which really um, are not going to have the skills to do this. This is a perfect opportunity for AI because we're really talking about classifying text. This is a text classification problem. Okay, so now let's implement this AI in our app and see how it does. Okay, so now I've added a bit of code to my Jambones app. I'm just going to hit the Open API Chat Completions endpoint, and I'm going to do the same thing that my Streamlit app did. Feed in the prompt that the or the statement that the bot just made, and get back a classification of the expected next response from the customer. And then based on that, single utterance, etc., I'm going to set some properties, specifically the endpointing and utterance MS property, so that every turn of the conversation should be better tuned for the expectation of what the customer is going to say. So let's try it out and see if we get a better experience. Welcome to Charlestown Urgent Care. To get started, could you tell me if you are a current patient with us? Yes, I am. Thank you. In order to confirm your identity, could you spell your last name for me? It's spelled H-O-R-T-O-N. Thank you for confirming your identity. I've found your record. Our automated system will be able to help you with equipment issues or drug refills. Are you calling for either of those reasons? Yes. Okay, we can definitely help you with that tonight. Can you tell me which you would like help with? An equipment issue or a drug refill? Equipment issue. I'm sorry to hear that you are having equipment problems. Can you tell me what the product is that you are using and describe for me the problem you are having? Yeah, so it's a CPAP machine that I ordered from you guys. And for the last few days, the red light has been on, um, kind of blinking. And I'm not sure if that's a problem. And if so, should you have somebody come out to me or what should I do? Okay, would you like me to dispatch a technician to your home tonight? Yes. Okay, I will dispatch a technician to your home tonight. Can you please tell me your home address so that I can instruct the technician where to meet you? Yes, 70 High Street, Apartment 3, Waltham, Massachusetts. Thank you for your call. A technician will be dispatched to your home tonight. Goodbye. Okay, so not nothing earth shattering, but a much better conversation with a little better awareness of when the conversation should be turned. And that's essentially all we were looking for.